Emma Pooley in the start house, silver medalist in Beijing a couple of years ago, and she is for the second year the national time trial champion of Great Britain. Well, the big question mark, Phil. Uh, she had a little uh, onto a contretemps with the referees just before the start of this race. Uh, they measure the positions of the riders and their saddles, and of course their position with the hands in a, an individual time trial like this. And she was told to go away and change her position. And that's a little bit of a precarious thing to do to an athlete just around about one hour before the start. Well, it is, but she's got off to a great start. This is Amber Nebben here of the United States, who is the champion in 2008. And uh, the last two years, it's been her teammate, Christian Armstrong. But Armstrong, last year's champion, now retired from the sport. She's still Gillo out on course. And she comes up towards the finish. She's going to be, I think, best time here. She gets up. She's always been better than Patrick, uh, Patricia Schwager of Switzerland. And I think she's going to go in best time. Better than set the time. I have to say that Tara Witten, who's chasing her at one and a half minutes, is giving better time checks. Now, this is a Willemsen here. Now, I should say of Denmark, but that was last year. She's now changed her nationality to New Zealand because she's married a Kiwi and she's going off third from the end. She was the bronze medalist of last year. Well, this is what it's all about. It's about the top of the climb. She uh, had here it was a uh, Witten and that was 11.03 uh, Whitlaw has gone through with the eighth best time she's lost herself 30 seconds 34 kilometers an hour but it's on the faster part of the course that we're going to expect her to maybe wrap up wrap up the speed a bit well this is Tara Witten here coming up the straight so we've seen Gillow come in now Witten has been showing consistently quicker times has she managed to maintain the rhythm here there's the time of Shara Gillow at 34.1 second 34 minutes one second uh, Tara Witten has time in hand to be the new best time here, so uh, Gillow's going to have to move over. Notch in that hot seat. Two seven seconds quicker. This is the face of Alexis Rhodes now, the penultimate rider of the girls today. 38 starters making her move. And uh, a quick kick away and a good cheer from the crowd here. But she's going to be chased by Judith Arndt, who was fourth last year. Let's well, move up to the Bailey Bridge again with Vicky Whitelaw. Well, she's got herself over this Bailey Bridge. It's a very difficult part of the course. This chicane has been introduced because they felt that the original bridge on the circuit was just a bit too narrow, maybe dangerous, not only uh, really for the cyclists, Phil, but also for the team cars that follow. She's never won a world time trial championship. She's been world road race champion. She's got medals at Olympic level. But she's never won this event, and I think she's lost count of the number of times she's been in the top four finishes in this time trial championship. And I'm talking now about Judith Arndt. She also knows the Australian roads pretty well. She comes here often, and she really is dancing on those pedals, Paul. This is Emma Pooley, the Great Britain ride. She comes from Surrey in the south of England. And she really, every time the camera's picked her up, she has looked very, very good. Now, is that going to be confirmed here? She's reaching the 6.6 kilometre point, and she goes through by a good second, best time over Tara Witten. Well, she's now set the uh, the time for all of the other ch champions behind her to try and better. And she looked very comfortable on that climb. She was, as far as I was concerned, the rider who looked the most at ease. Now she's coming to the part of the course, which I don't really feel that suits her quite so much. She's a great climber, but she did finish second in the Olympic Games individual time trial having done the majority of the work on the climb a couple of days earlier for her own teammate Nicole Cook to get the gold medal that's absolutely right well Pooley is settling in here she'll come up against Cook in the Commonwealth Games this is Evan Stevens coming up towards the line or is it Amber Nevin it might be Amber Nevin coming you know it is Stevens coming up to the line here and uh, the time still to beat is that of Witten at the finish 33.54 and I think, you know, Evelyn Stevens is going to knock a North American counterpart off the top here. It's not that far to the line. There's a new best time coming. This is Evelyn Stevens of the USA. Well, we've got a USA winner in the men's race. The women's race by 5.8 seconds. There we're now we're back with Emma Pooley. She's coming down to the chicane here. She's got to back off the speed a fraction, take this corner a little bit slower than you might have wanted to early, just so that you can be in the right position to take the sweeper now across over to the Bailey Bridge and keep as much momentum as possible to start the next climb. You can see the original bridge, which is still existing, of course, on the left. This Bailey Bridge will go after these championships are over. It's cost around about half a million dollars to put in for these championships, but it's a safer route over the river. This is Emma Pooley and Amber Naben is coming into our camera view now. Stevens is the best time here, but Naben has gone better. 
in fourth best time for Amber. She is a former world champion at this discipline. Well, she's uh, stopped uh, at the clock in a very good time there. Onto the flatter part of the course, and you can just see how far forward Emma Pooley sitting on that saddle. That's probably why the, the referees wanted to make her a, to adjust her saddle position and push it back a fraction. It doesn't seem to have affected her too much mentally. Swinging out, still on the climb. Look at the slope on that road. This is Judith Arndt, and it's saying she's 10 seconds outside the time, which we referenced on Tara Witten, who has now been superseded anyway in the time checks. This is Alexis Rhodes, and she really is struggling on the climb today. Let's take a look at her face here. This is hurting her. There's Pooley's time, best time. Alexis is going to go through, and she is going to be quite a way behind here. So this isn't a good ride by Alexis as she comes over the top of the steep part of the climb. Only 17 clickers at this point. She's going to have to do something very special over the second part of this course. On the flatter part of the course, she'll be able to use uh, the power that she's got to try and uh, reduce that deficit. But this is an amazing performance by this little rider from Great Britain, Emma Pooley. She really is hammering around this course. And she's got a massive chain ring on the front there. And uh, she's posted the fastest time at the intermediate time split as well. She's heading out now around the edge of Cryo Bay. The clock is saying that she is lying in first place. And look at that, Longo Ciprelli, the 52-year-old woman, is also in the mix here for a medal as Emma Pooley is now heading out into the Botanical Gardens. The question is now, is she doing the ride that will give Great Britain their first ever gold medal in the time trial?